you know, if you haven't seen my other videos, definitely watch them because that way, you know, you could bookmark this or come back to it down the road, you know, but the first things that we spoke about was, you know, building your business profile up correctly. And I'm just going to reiterate that a little bit um, is building your business credit profile correctly. So I, um, a lot of people watching this, if you do not have an EIN or a tax, a tax ID or an actual business, um, it's very simple to do it, right? So um, in the state of New Jersey or in New York, and I know that we have a lot of other people that are in other states, um, I'm going to show you guys, you know, I'm, I'm going to share my screen and show you guys, like, if you do not have an LLC, and actually, let's see in the chat, I guess the first person to say that they do not have an LLC, let me know what state you're in, and I'll show you how easy it is to create a, a business in your state. So New York, um, uh, so I'm going to see, all right, so New York. So New York is actually kind of tricky. Uh, I'm going I'm to just do, but I said I was going to do that. So I said New York is the first one. So let's go ahead, right? So all you, actually, did I do that last time? Do you know if I share my screen and did? Um, oh, here, here, all you guys got to do, right? So let me go ahead and share it right quick. When you go to Google, guys, so you can go ahead and create, you know, I'm just using LLC because it's a very basic term, limited liability corporation. So create LLC in New York, right? Um, and literally, guys, remember, always do this. Skip the first three. There's always ads. So it'll say literally there, add, add, add. And then right here, it'll say forming an LLC in New York, okay? And you just follow the prompts on how to create the LLC in New York, right? Um, everything is... Everything that you really need is in your fingertips in Google. Create an LLC in New Jersey. Remember, skip the ads. Boom, state of New Jersey. And make sure that it's the .gov, .us, .treasury, .whatever the case is. And you can literally create the LLC online. Our clients do it all the time. They literally, we teach them how to just Google it, right? Um, Florida, create an LLC in Florida, right? Skip the ad, skip the ad. Florida, you know, it, make sure it has something like, with the Florida website, you know, this one says sumbiz.org and file or correct a Florida LLC like right there. So guys, just to make sure and ladies that um, if it's not something that you want to pay somebody to do, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of time in this LLC market right quick, just so you guys can kind of understand my thought process on it. And I hope you guys understand this. I made a post the other day about homework in 2022 um, on Instagram, right? I put homework for, I put the first thing is make sure your credit is above 725, um, which obviously that's a no brainer. You want your credit over 700, but I say, you know what? 725 is a good sweet spot. And obviously you can aim to go higher. Um, number, the second thing is open an LLC ASAP. And a lot, you know, there were a few comments. I, my mindset guys in 2022, I don't have time for negativity. The minute somebody posts something negative on my page, I delete it and block them before the old credit due would entertain it. Oh, you know, you talk about blah, 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 and just go on a, on a, on a, on a battle with them on Instagram. And now I just remove it. Right. I feel, and, and like I said, one, I'm not an accountant. I'm not an attorney. Um, I'm the credit dude. I do credit and I help people, you know, reach their greatness through credit. Right. I feel that every individual should have an LLC in their life. Right. Um, others, we could, you know, it could be like a versus we can rant and we can talk about it, whatever the case is. Um, I feel like when you have an LLC, you walk a little bit differently, you talk a little bit differently, you can make different moves that you wouldn't be able to do without an LLC. So I feel that every single person in 2022 should create an LLC for themselves, for their family. And, and if you don't have a business, that's okay. Name it, whatever it is that you want, like your, your last name, you know, Rodriguez Consulting, Rodriguez Management, you know, e, you know, EYL Management, whatever the case is, right? Uh, have a very broad LLC name um, because there's a lot that can come out of it. Um, but if you don't have an LLC and if you don't have a business, then how can you start even start to make business moves? A lot of people wait. A lot of people, oh, you know what? I don't have a business, so let me go ahead and uh, not do it. Oh, my credit's not great. So let me not start a business. Oh, I don't know anyone that has a business. So I, I'm not going to get in a different room. The good thing is EYL, you guys all know how you guys, you guys can actually get together and two of you can start a business. Oh, you know what? Two of you guys, two of you guys want to do a vending machine business, but you guys don't have the money. It's X amount of dollars. Boom. Now you can both collaborate, get on an LLC together, split the cost. Boom. Now you guys are partners, right? Oh, you want to buy a truck? Four of you guys can get together, go on the LLC together, start a trucking company together. And that's the thing is the power in this room is where 
if you don't have an LLC and you know somebody else that doesn't have an LLC, partner together. Obviously, be very careful because obviously, you know, friendships could obviously be destroyed with LLCs. But having a business will definitely allow you to do certain things. And what I mean by that is now you get an LLC, you get your EIN. And the first question that I get asked, so guys, uh, th th this is what I really want you to know. Uh, I know Miss Business spoke about it yesterday. It's about getting a virtual office, right? I don't have a business, so what's the point of me getting a virtual office yet? Get your virtual office and then open up your LLC with the address that you got the virtual office with, right? So a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to use my home address to open up the LLC, get the Regis office, then change the office on my LLC document to the Re you know, so much back and forth. Get the Regis office first. Or get the and Regis, guys, for those of you guys, it's a virtual office, right? You have Opus, you have virtual office um, with Regis. I do not suggest getting a virtual mailbox. I do not suggest getting a PO box. As you guys all know, my previous classes, it, 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 it increases the risk of your business. If you're saying that you're going to be a consulting company or a restaurant or a trucking company, and you're going to bring in three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year, but you have a virtual office or a PO box or a UPS, it's going to cause some red flags, right? Uh, trust me, it's going to happen. Invest the money in a virtual office like Regis, so that way when they Google your address, just like Miss Business said, it is going to be, um, it's going, to, it's going to look very big. You know what I mean? You're going to look bigger than what you are. Um, the same way she said she had an office, I think it was like on Fifth Fifth Avenue or whatever the case is. I have a virtual office with Regis and I'm on Wall Street. I have a virtual office, guys, in Puerto Rico. I have a virtual office in Miami and Texas, Los Angeles, and that's number six. So I have six virtual offices for God Credit, right? To give you guys a little bit of a secret here, God Credit will be in 25 locations this year, okay, in the United States. Do you guys really think that God Credit is going to spend money on 25 offices? No, I'm going to have 25 virtual offices in 25 different states, but it's going to have 25 locations. So you see the difference where if you are, you, you could be a small mom and pop company, but cover a very large audience and cover a very large demographic with the virtual office. You don't have to spend 22000 dollars Think about it in New York, New Jersey. You want to get a, 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 an office for your company, it's going to cost you two, three thousand dollars a month. OK, it's very, very expensive, um, but get the virtual office first and then register your company. You want to know how to register your tax ID? Literally just go on the IRS website, create EIN and it, it's free, doesn't cost you anything. Now, if you guys don't have the time, if you don't want to do it, then more, by all means, contact an attorney, contact the CPA and, and, and have them create your LLC. Um, but you could do it for yourself, guys, at, at no cost. 